Tio please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. And in today's video, as the name implies, I'm going to be making a buggy, but with some interesting suspension. So I'm always trying to find uses for the robotic parts, which uh, obviously the robotic parts, if you've played a lot of KSP, you know that they can be squirrely, they can be, they can misbehave and act in unreliable ways, but uh, with small, simple builds like this, they can be quite fun and and provide unique, interesting design choices. So I had the idea of using these these pistons to provide more forgiving suspension for the rovers, which are notoriously uh, notoriously bad. They they don't have high uh, they don't act well at high speeds and um, not necessarily going for something that can act well at high speeds. I just kind of wanted to see if I could drive over bumpy, uneven terrain and how well the vehicle would, would, would survive that and behave in general. So it's really just having fun with the pistons and, and kind of experimenting with their, their features. So you can, you can set the dampening. I think, um, on, on, on one end of the spectrum, it'll act like a rigid immovable component that requires a lot of force. And on the other end, it's the piston can stroke in and out with relative ease and, uh, it can kind of be too spongy. So it's, matter of finding the sweet spot depending on what your build is and what you're trying to do so at this point i i'm realizing so the the, the suspension is is fun to play with but I, I need the vehicle to be able to survive rollovers and whatnot so i'm just kind of piddling with a, a roll cage concept and uh i want to keep hitting these inclines going fast oh they tip over so roll cage seems to work except uh, i can't get back upright so Rather than using SAS and reaction wheels, which would be cheating, um, I might go back to the drawing board right here <laughs> and, uh, and 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 play around with the design. So here I'm just zipping around. Man, uh, rovers around the KSC can can generally be a lot of fun. I'm hoping in, in KSP two they'll give you uh, a place nearby that has more of a, a dirt track with ramps and whatnot, simulating extraterrestrial environments that could be fun sort of like a bmx place to test out rovers and whatnot so back to the drawing board like i said and i'm gonna uh experiment so i, I realized you know i need the pistons to be stroked out somewhat so that they've already got some give once once they hit then they shouldn't be completely retracted and then uh, also like the ability to flip this thing back over maybe so uh, let's let's protect all the delicate features and then we'll um also use that feature that that production as a mechanism to flip the vehicle back on its uh on its wheels so uh this is this is the fun part <laughs> i uh yeah not much else to say about that i enjoyed tinkering with the suspension about as much as i enjoy flipping this thing around the ksc and um you kind of get a sense for which which components are the weakest and strongest um, I find solar panels have a tendency to break off so you, you kind of want to protect everything in, under something sturdy and stationary so I've got everything under that that top cover uh, yep and throw some solar panels on it so if I do ever send this type of vehicle to another another planet or moon or something it's got the ability to produce its own power so let's go take it for a spin and already we're looking good we got it flipped over and oh, let's see. And we flipped it back on its wheel. That was fun. Just flipped it around and it survived. Everything's still functioning. All the parts are still on it. it. Took a tumble. A lot of fun. Let's hit this ramp. Get back on my wheels. So one thing you could do with a design like this is you could you could assign hotkeys to the uh, to the functions. So if I wanted the alligator clip to just open and close fully. I could set that to a hotkey. Um, could probably also use the uh, the controller. I'm forgetting the name of it at the moment. The uh, the little yellow controller. So if you wanted to fine tune the positioning of the uh, of the alligator clip or of the uh, suspension settings, you can probably do that as well. So kind of just tweaking the design, getting those wheels nice and uh, level with the ground, adjusting some of the features. And yeah. Had a lot of fun with this rover build. <laughs> Not much else to say. Uh, 
got 45 seconds left. Like I said in my previous video, I record these. Sometimes it's months before I come back and record the audio for them. So uh, you get to be surprised and see some new footage at the same time that I'm seeing some relatively new footage. But uh, yeah, if you haven't built a, a rover like this and tinkered around the KSC, I highly recommend it. Plenty of little surfaces to, to bounce off of and um, yeah, a lot of fun. Get myself back on the wheels. I could do that all day. I did do that all day, actually. So <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something out of it, please leave a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see me take this buggy to another planet, leave a comment. Appreciate you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.